I got that cut off about the size that I'm going to be. It's going to be a little bit smaller than that. Of course, it's going to round up. Got all that cut out. I've got my marks here for the spot between the centers. And this is the part that's probably the most dangerous about doing any lathing is when you're doing between centers because you would have those two points and that's all that's holding it together. You secure it up in there as best you can, but it's still just barely on there. So what you want to do is get it round, rounded up, get some flat spots, and get it to the point where you can get it in the chuck so it isn't going to be flying around. Until you do that, it's somewhat risky. You get your points, figure out where you're going to be at. Always turn by hand before to make sure. Have your tools sharpened, and we start roughing out. You can look at the top of it, and you'll see some work being done. You can't really tell if you look at the tool itself. That's the work part. a little bit, and then I'll actually try and flatten the bottom of it off so I can actually put a uh, cannon on there so I can actually get it on the chuck. inertia going on there. Starting to round up here. Not quite, but I want to get a little bit more of that so it's not just vibrating all over the place when I'm doing this. And I'm not nearly likely to catch. When it catches, that's when you're in, that's when you're in trouble. Catch those sharp edges so it would fly out of in here and we need to get those all out of there before I can really start tree, uh, trimming on the, uh, the ends. Vibration starts 
improving like that, increasing, there is something wrong. It should be getting less. And I'm guessing that I've got a little soft spot over here. Wow. I lost a lot here somewhere, somehow. I don't want to get hurt. the other end. On the headstock end, it actually is kind of like a saw or drill, and it will move itself in there and uh, create another problem. Now I'm actually going to have to, I can get it closer here again. <coughs> I'm going to have to rough some more out, so it's going to be a little bit smaller. so you can 
get just a little bit closer and see just exactly what I'm doing with that. Stop. All I did was that. So there's a lot of going to do yet. But I gotta get some of this air out of there. Turning almost as much air as I am wood. close to being all the way around at the very middle there. And I'm going to go to a smaller gouge.
soup where I'm putting real curly cheese in there, but the stuff has so much sap in it that uh, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. here. Now, of course, the flat, I'll take care of that the other side once I get the thing on the chuck. coarse grain, which I'll have to fill with uh, epoxies or, or, or oils of some sort, but uh, I can sand a lot of it out of there eventually too, but i uh, got a long ways to go before I get to that point. Let's get that. Tannin in there. Finish cutting that cannon on there and uh, then I'll show you on the next part. <laughs> 